Hello, this is Dana of Tabitha's Treasures. Welcome to Vlogtober Day 10. Ooh, there's a fly. Anyway, I haven't got very much to talk about today. Just a quick update. I just got back home. I went to... Let me turn this TV down. I don't know why it's so loud. Just got back from Walmart and decided to go over to Joanne's just to see what I could see and see if I could find any more of that $1 yarn at Walmart. Since some of my friends were finding quite a bit, but I'm not as lucky as they are. But I did find one. I found this one at Walmart. And uh, this is Pixie colorway pixie everybody's already seen it I'm pretty sure but it has gum on it and it was stuck to the yarn so I had to pull it apart and get the gum off of it sick yeah really sick uh, Mimi from Mimi loves yarn was talking about her Walmart closest to her has been vandalized well it's happening at all of them I think these kids they just they don't care anymore well a lot of them but anyway I got that <coughs> and I picked up a few things for the carousel so I can't show you that but I also found this in the clearance section it's marked down to five dollars be good for holding hooks charms whatever you know, I can always use more containers. <laughs> it's just a empty box. Like a little lunch box. So, yeah. Found that. And the other things I got, I can't show you. They're for the carousel. Yeah. Those are for the carousel. But I also got me some more little hair clips that were on sale for $1.50 always use hair clips and then I swung over to Joann's and they still had the premier yarns every day on sale for $3.97 a skein so I got a couple more of the toasted marshmallow for my squares that I'm joining together um, I've already showed you those yeah so they look slightly different. I don't know why. I am. Um, well, no wonder I didn't check the dye lot on them. Um, seven through, yeah, the same dye lot. Seven through three nine. Toasted marshmallow. Oh well, it's probably just the way they're wrapped. So yeah, I got those, and then the books were still on sale, and you remember what I told you about crochet books at Joann's on my side of town, you're lucky if you ever find any. So when I find them, I grab them. This one is Baby and Kids Crochet Style. I haven't even had a chance to look at it yet. It's by Jennifer Doherty. Doher, Doherty. Author of Crochet Style and founder of Crochet by Jennifer. There's 30 patterns. Yeah. And as much as I crochet for babies and kids, I figured this would be great. I haven't really looked inside. Some hat patterns, I suppose, and heirloom keepsakes, and baby shower gifts. Aww little bonnet so got that at Joann's and that's that and I haven't done any work on the circular vest that I was uh, showing you the other yesterday but I did finish the third panel from Miss Terry's fall graph along and that is how it looks so the next part is just joining 
the pumpkin and owl on the side of here and making a banner so that will be next and I like the way it came out I actually didn't have as much trouble with this one as I did with the the other two I guess I'm just getting the hang of it um, lots and lots of tails to weave in and if you know me you know that's like something I'll wait until the very last thing to do <laughs> if I even do it I usually just wait and uh, take everything over to Terry's and um, weave my ends in over there because I can't really crochet when I'm with her we're just talking and laughing and I can't concentrate so it's best for me not to even try to crochet anything just sit there and weave in ends and talk to her and talk you know talk and laugh and stuff but yeah uh, that's what I do when I go over there and I haven't gone over there in quite a while so um, I heard from my mother I was kind of concerned that she got up and walked out because she said she was at home when I uh, got a message from her early this morning she said they released her but I had asked her did they release you or did you walk out and she said no they released her and they gave her permission to go on her trip she um I don't know if I told you this or not but she is um, going to Abilene this next weekend with my aunt and my uncle is going to meet them there one of their cousins who is um, listed as MIA from Vietnam um, somehow they found his body and he's being returned back to his his home so um, they're gonna have a memorial and the ceremony for him um, this next weekend which is truly incredible I mean nobody ever thought they would hear anything about him ever ever again and um, yeah so apparently the military has found his body and they you know his mom and daddy had been gone for years and years he was the only son the only surviving twin out of three sets of twins um, he was our only surviving child and he when he joined the military um, he was a, a Navy a pilot an Air Force pilot and he his plane had been shot down and they classified him as missing in action his name is on the wall the memorial wall and everything um, his name is Charles B Goodwin and uh, he's still to this day on the wall he's still classified as missing in action as far as I know but yeah they found him and they're bringing him home so it's gonna be a very touching ceremony I wish that I was able to go it kills me knowing that my mother's gonna be eight hours away from me very close in Texas and I can't I can't go but uh, you know it'll be good for her to be with her um, other siblings and other family members that are going to be there and I'm just glad that she's able to go uh, she got permission and clearance from her doctor to go so all is well and uh, so I guess that's about it um, I haven't heard from my swap partner yet whether or not she got her box um, I'm praying that she liked everything that I sent it wasn't anything that anybody else can't find it wasn't anything um, new or hard to acquire uh, I don't know I I did the best I could <laughs> but I am going to be joining in on the uh, Christmas ornament swap that Ella from No Catchy Name is having um, I've got to go to the library and print out some ornament patterns and I've got a few things laid aside that I think would be nice to um, put into a swap box so 
Uh, everything else I have is for the carousel uh, package from Homemade with Love from Blaine and Loretta. I'm waiting on that. I was number four, four on the list, so I should be receiving that um, either the end of this month or beginning of next. So, um, and I've just been picking up little things along the way that I thought would be um, good to put in something like that. Y'all have a